it's beautiful people in the world, brothers, sisters in the world. How you guys doing today? I'm Nez J, and I am here with my first video. <laughs> yeah, I can't get enough of you, babe. Bottles open up so you can try and open up for me, babe. Am I in? Am I in? You do you, girl. The head is going. I'm coming to you guys for um story time. <laughs> Um, a story time on when I got my first heartbreak. So, I was, um, a young girl. I don't really want to tell exact age or nothing because I was a young girl. I was 12, you know. <laughs> I, was, I was 14, okay? I was 14, maybe 15, around that part. I was dating this boy for a very long time, like, you know, young love, you know, uh, what, no, 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 yeah, 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 I was 14, when I first started dating him, I was gonna be like, uh, how old are you in the sixth grade, like, 12, 13, so, yeah, I was dating him, um, I really liked him, he was, like, maybe, like, a year or two older than me, uh, I was, I was really in love with him, though, like, for real, y'all. I don't know how I knew about love like just that easy back then, but like I was I was in love with him. So you know we was texting, hitting it off. You know what? Let's rewind. Okay, so from the beginning, I met this boy when I was in sixth grade. You know I was young, maybe what? Like how old are you in sixth grade? Like twelve, thirteen, whatever. So, yeah, I met him in sixth grade. I was young. I really didn't know what love was, but at the time, I thought I did. And, um, so, you know, I liked him a lot. Like, I, dang, I, I loved him. You know, I loved him. And, um, like I told y'all, I didn't know what love was. So, I, at the time, I, I said I loved him. But, oh, I don't know what that is for real. Like, I'm in sixth grade. I shouldn't even be knowing what love is at that time, you know? But, um, it was like, I seen him in person before, but, like, we never talked. Like, he didn't go to my school. He went to a different school. And, uh, yeah, like, it was just so crazy because, like, I was so in love with him. Like, I just could not get him out of my head like I wanted to talk to him 25-8 yes I said 25-8 um so yeah like we were texting we was talking in a point of that time you know I'm in sixth grade so it's like no you cannot have no boyfriend no your boyfriend cannot come over like none of that you know what I'm saying so at the time it was kind of hard for me to see him and plus I'm a female and I'm pretty sure Y'all live with y'all daddies or y'all y'all cool with y'all daddies, whatever. Y'all daddies in y'all life, period. Y'all know. They do not play that. Especially over their girls. See, it's a different story if it's a boy because a boy is a boy. Like, parents don't look at a boy as they look at a girl. Like, with parents, with girls, I mean, with boys, they'd be like, ah, go ahead, I don't even care. But with a girl, they'd be like, no, you're not going. I cannot trust that. What if the little boy do this and do this and do that? So, you know, it was more strict on us females, if you girls understand where I'm coming from. Um, so, yeah. So, you know, he always wanted to see me. Remind y'all, he was a year or two older than me. So, he always wanted to, I can't remember, but he always wanted to see me or whatever. And I just was like... You know, I can't do that because I'm only, what, 13. Like, I, I can't go with you, 12, 13. Like, I can't go with you. Like, it, it just can't happen. And he used to constantly ask me. And I'm just like, dude, no. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> so, matter of fact, I'm going to make this story time. It's going to be the first time I snuck a dude in and in my house and I got caught and my first heartbreak. So, you know, he was pressuring me like, come on, bro, just come on, like, we can do this. I'm like, no, dude, like, my parents is not going, none of that. So, eventually, 
I got on, you know, I had his password and stuff to his Facebook. But he was mad disrespectful, though, because he used to text girls and knew I had his password and stuff. And then I swear up and down that it wasn't him. So I used to text him with him. Like, while he was texting, I was texting too. So, um, so yeah, I got my heart broken. He admitted that he cheated. And he said me, it's because he can't see me. He would like to see me. If he would see me, he wouldn't have no problem. And we could go somewhere from there. And I was just like, yeah, you're fucked up. I mean, you're messed up. But, um, so yeah, that, that was the, that was half of it. So after that, mm, that was like, that, okay, we dated for a very long time too. Cause I was dumb and I just kept going back and back and back and back. Like I just kept going back to him over and over. So then I finally, you know, um, <laughs> these dudes is looking at me. So like I'm distracted. <laughs> Right here. Uh, hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, I am back. Um, so then eventually, you know, I kept going back, whatever, like that. And I'm like, okay, I just I can't keep letting him cheat on me, but it's like I don't want to leave him. Like, what am I to do? So, um, eventually, when I, as I got older, we we. We still knew each other, you know, we still talked, dated, whatever. But, um, I would, I just wasn't as dumb, but I still was dumb. Like, dumb in love, like. Um, so then, it came to a time and point where my parents were gone. Um, and I snuck him in my house. And I got caught. <laughs> Y'all, like, when I say I was so scared, like, I got caught that night and I just regretted it. But it was just like, I had to do it because I wanted to keep him and stuff. He was forcing me to do it, like, you know. So, he was like, just come on, bro. Like, just do it. I'm like, no. Like, I ain't never did that before. I'm a good girl. I don't do that. Stuff like that. He was like, just come on. Like, you're not going to regret it. You're not going to get caught. This and that. I'm like, all right, forget it. So we came to my house, you know, everything was good. My uncle came, my parent came, and he was like, he opened the door and I'm like, oh, it's over. It's over. And he was like, we was laying right next to each other. And he was like, get the out of my house. This and this. He was going off. Oh. And I was just like, what did I do? And he made me call my mom. He made me tell my mom what I did. And I had to, he kicked me out. And I had to go live with my mom. Like, it was so crazy. Like, I went through hell, okay, when I was with my mom. Like, she really was so disappointed in me. Like, she literally, like, whooped me every day. Like, that's how mad she was. Like, attitudes back it back at me like I was so disappointed in myself my family didn't even know him or anything and my uncle kept telling him like get the f*** out of my house or I'm gonna get my gun and this and that and I'm like you got a gun and come to find out he do and it's like one of them long guns I don't know what they call but uh it was one of them long guns so I'm like yeah and he was taking forever to leave and I'm like bro just get your stuff and go like my uncle like okay excuse me y'all my uncle like okay we, we want to take forever to leave okay i'm about to go downstairs get my gun i'm like oh you gotta bounce dude you gotta bounce you gotta go like get up out of here you tripping i ain't trying to witness no murder today but um so then after that he was so salty he left his phone like he left his phone and everything like and that was the only phone he had. It wasn't like he had a backup phone or anything. So, I thought my uncle, like, give it. Because he, I thought he gave it to my grandma to give back to him. But he didn't. Because I was going to be like, how would you go give it back? But I don't know what he did with it. I think he threw it away or sold it or something. So, that was one phone that he didn't have back. He had to go get a job and get another one. And I kept telling him, like, I'll never do it again. But I said, blah, So, after that, like... 
I just was done with him, like, through. Like, you not finna get me in trouble no more. Like, heck, no, nah, you not finna get, the, get me in trouble. And my mom was like, you better not talk to him again and this and that. And I'm like, mom, okay, okay. <laughs> but, like, y'all, I was so brokenhearted when I found out he was cheating on me. Like, I was so hurt, like, my first heartbreak. Like, I was so young. And it was just so crazy, y'all. But I don't mean to bore y'all. I hope this story was kind of interesting or whatnot. But, um... I just thought I'd post something for you guys. And yeah, like, and then kind of find out he had a whole girlfriend too. And I'm like, I did all this for you. And, but he didn't, he, he was dating me longer still, but like he still was dating her. It was just so crazy. Like girls would text me all the time. Like, you know that y'all do this, does another thing. I'm like, oh, oh my God. And then, like, before all of that, like, when I was barely seeing him, I would meet up with him at, like, somebody's house or something. It was just so crazy, y'all. No, not in somebody's house at a game. But that's all I got for you guys. That's all I got for you guys. So, bye. I love you guys. Hi. Say hi. Say hey. Say cheese. <laughs> Bye, y'all.